Hello, in this video we're going to go over how to create a scroll bar um, and pair it with our tree view widget. Um, so in the previous video I told you how to define and update a tree view widget. We're now going to I'm now going to show you how to implement a scroll bar. Now a scroll bar should really only be used when you're going to have more more than uh, one screen worth of uh, of entries in your table. For small tables, um, you shouldn't use a scroll bar because it, it it it's not active if it's if it's if the tree view itself is too is too uh, small because it's not scrollable. So I'm going to show you how to um, create a scroll bar now. So, um, so uh, we're using the same example as in the previous video, and we're just going to start with our, the name of the scroll bar, which I normally just um, put the name of the tree view, and then put scroll bar at the end there, and that's going to equal um, ttk dot scroll bar. As the uh, as the widget is from the TTK uh, part of Tkinter, um, you'll have already imported this because your uh, tree view is from TTK. You're also going to pass in the frame that your tree view is in. You're going to want to orientate um, the scroll bar to be vertical, so pass in orient equals and then vertical. And now you're going to set the command to equal um, employ view, so the name of your um, tree view. And then we're going to pass in my view. Now, you don't have to define this uh, function. It's an internal function, um, I believe. So you're not defining that. So anyway, now we're going to have to configure the, tree, the scroll bar now that it's defined. So employee view scroll bar. Sorry, hold on. No, before we do that, we have to um, configure the uh, tree view widget itself. So, employee view or your your tree view's name dot configure, and then we're going to make it scrollable. So y scroll equals, and then type the name of the um, of the scroll bar, and we're going to set it to the uh, to the tree view itself so now that the school so that this line essentially sets the uh, the school bar to the uh, tree view widget so the last thing we're gonna have to do is actually grid or put on the uh, school bar itself onto the interface so we're going to do the name of the school bar dot grid and then the grid so I remember we did um, uh, we set the uh, column span of the tree view to five. Yeah, there it is. There. So we're going to make this one the grid this uh, scroll bar to column six. And finally, before we close the brackets, we're going to make it sticky. I'm going to make it sticky north south. You can experiment with this to find the. Um, the optimal uh, setting, uh, but for me it's sticky equals north south. So we're going to run this now, and as you can see, the tree view. I mean, the scroll bar is here, but <coughs> but as you can see, the uh, scroll bar itself is grayed out and it's not scrollable. Um, because there's not enough uh, elements in the um, uh, tree view. In fact, there is no elements in the tree view. So I'm going to create. Um, I'm going to create uh, another. Um, I'm going to create multiple duplicates of the same, well, multiple records of the same record, uh, for the sake of easiness. So um, I'm going to. Create, 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 create. So that way we have multiple uh, High Wilson records. Um, I'm also going to uh, put in a different record to show the school function. So I'll put Sally Wilson here. Um, 
Okay, so going to create there. So if we go back, now the scroll bar is um, active. And as you can see, we've got our our whole load of uh, Harry Wilson um, records here. But now we can scroll scroll down by clicking on the scroll scroll bar and slowly going down. And as you can see, Sally Wilson's at the very bottom. But as you noted um, previously, the scroll bar itself was inactive if the if the uh, if the if the amount of records is less than one whole uh, tree view widget. So uh, let's see how many is displayed in one screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So for us, um, if there's 11 records, the scroll bar will become active and you'll be able to scroll all the way through. So that's how you define a scroll bar in a tree view widget using Tkinter. Thank you for watching.